Hello, Arboretum students. I'm so happy to be with you. I bet you're wondering why I'm wearing these sunny glasses and my sunglasses inside my office. Well, we are going to talk about what it means to be an optimistic thinker today. And my book is called A Little Spot of Optimism. And that's a really big word. And it might be a new word for some people. My glasses have to do with being an optimistic thinker. Some of you maybe guessed it. It means to look at the bright side of things. Try to have the sunny kind of thinking. There are going to be some situations where things don't go your way or a situation is difficult or challenging um, or really hard. And we can focus on all the bad things in that situation and complain and be negative and say, oh, I don't like this and this stinks and I don't, this is why I don't like it. Or we can use our growth mindset thinking that we've talked about this year and really looking at the positive side of things and focusing on, well, this situation is hard, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to put effort in and I'm not giving up. Um, and so whatever the situation is, can you try to look at the situation from a more positive, meaning a good Anything good in that situation? Well, the test was really hard, but I tried my best. I studied. That was the best I could do. Or, you know, I really worked hard and maybe the next time I'll do a little bit better. But I grew my brain. I didn't do well on my test, but I sure worked hard and I did the best that I could. So really trying to look at the positives in a situation or something good can just help you get through that situation with a little more um, feeling upbeat and not so down and not so frustrated. It's a strategy I use a lot. There's lots and lots of situations that seem pretty difficult and pretty frustrating, but you can use your growth mindset and try to find something good or something that you learned from the situation or maybe some way that you grew from that hard situation. Okay, so that's why I'm wearing these silly glasses. Real quick before I read my book to you, this glass is filled to the very middle. Okay, and an optimistic thinker looks at the glass as half full, like tries to be a positive thinker. So if my friend's really thirsty and I share this with my friend, my friend might say, if they're being an optimistic, sunny, bright thinker, oh, wonderful, I was so thirsty, I'm so thankful, oh, you're the best and drink it up and be really appreciative for what you have instead of complaining, oh, I really wanted a full glass. So that person will probably feel pretty good to get this glass of water. A pessimistic thinker, that's a real negative thinker, kind of looks at the glass as half empty. What isn't there? What's the bad part of that situation. So if I share this glass of water with my friend and my friend is a pessimistic thinker, that friend would say, this is all you give me? Well, I'm really thirsty. I want more water. So I'm not even going to drink the water you gave me because I want more, more, more. And just looks at that situation with this half empty viewpoint, this negative thinking and doesn't stop to appreciate the good thing, which is, hey, there's half of the water in the glass, and if you're thirsty, you should be really thankful for what you get. Now, who do you think is going to be the happier person? The optimistic glass half full person or the negative pessimistic glass half empty thinker? I think you're right. I think the optimistic thinker is going to be the happier person because they're going to look for the good in that situation and try to find the learning or um, some situation where they grew instead of just complain, complain, this is so bad and so rotten. Okay, so I am going to take these glasses off. Put them over here. I'm going to put my reading glasses on so I can actually see what the book says. And I'm going to read it and then... We'll talk about our activity today. 
So the book is called A Little Spot of Optimism, a story about managing thoughts and growth mindset. Hi, I'm a little spot of optimism. I'm here to help you learn how to look on the bright side. That phrase is called a figure of speech. It means when you are faced with a disappointing situation, you can focus on the positive, the good things, instead of the negative. That's the bad things. Are there other ways you can explain optimism? How do you stay positive when something bad happens? That's a really good question. Great questions. Yes, there are other phrases that relate to optimism, like when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When you apply this to life, it can help you stay positive, even in a sour situation. You have the power to make it more enjoyable. Optimism is all about how you choose to look at the situation. Remember, we just did that with the glass that was half full and half empty. You can choose how you're going to look at that glass. You have the power to look at the glass as half full instead of half empty. That's another figure of speech. It means if you focus on what you have instead of on what you don't have, it will help improve your outlook on any situation. When you are able to refocus your thoughts, it is also called shifting your mindset. Your mindset determines how you handle a situation. When you are able to shift your mindset with positive words and actions, it can become easier to persevere in challenging situations. When you do this, you are growing your mindset to be more optimistic. Words are very powerful. The words you tell yourself can determine how you feel about a situation. This type of thinking is also called self-talk. That's why it's so important that you choose words that create positive thoughts. So it's kind of her choice. Is she going to think positive thoughts or negative thoughts? And you are in charge of what you are thinking inside your head. If you choose negative words, then your negative thoughts get too big. When that happens, it can make you very sad, and it can even make you feel sick over time. I'm going to show you some words that you can use to shift your thoughts from negative to positive. Let's look at a time when you lost your soccer game. You are very sad and disappointed. Instead of letting yourself talk, focus on the negative, so you say these negative things to yourself in your head, you could have chosen words that helped you see the positive. Let me show you. To shift a negative thought to a positive thought, you need to be aware of how you talk to yourself. So changing your negative to positive thoughts. You could say, I can't do this. Well, that's negative. Instead, maybe you could say, well, I have to practice. Right? Practice makes better. If you don't know how to do something, you just work at it. And with time, you always get a little bit better. I made a mistake. Ooh, mistakes help me learn. That's more positive. This is too hard. Well, it's just going to take some time and effort to figure out. These positive thoughts will make you feel better. Look at how these small changes make all the difference. Another trick is to ask yourself these questions. What good can come of this? What can I learn from this? Is there someone who can help me? It's important to make sure you don't put yourself down when things go wrong or are hard. Use words that help you succeed, like, if I study, I will be able to get a better grade next time. It's okay to feel discouraged, but understand that this feeling is only temporary and short term. It won't last forever. Use words that help you persevere, like, if I keep practicing, I will get this. Remember, perseverance means that you never give up. You stick with it. Positive actions can also create positive thoughts. Positive thoughts equal actions. 
Did you know when you grow your confidence spot, your optimism spot grows too? Every morning, wake up and tell yourself an optimistic affirmation, something nice about yourself. Repeat after me. Today will be great. Challenges will make me grow. Things may not be perfect, but deep down I know I have the power to create positive thoughts by growing my confidence and optimism spots. Be grateful for the things you might take for granted. Try to think about all the good things you notice throughout the day. You can even write them down. I noticed flowers. I learned a new art technique at school. I read a good book. I had a tea party. I had a great night's sleep. Bring positivity into someone else's life. Offer words of encouragement and kindness when they are experiencing a hard time. Oh, I will never be good at soccer. Sure you will. Do you want to practice with me? When you encounter a challenge, focus on the positive, even if it seems unimportant. Well, I learned stacking blocks this way makes it too wobbly because they fell down. After something good happens, give yourself credit. Think about how you made that outcome successful. Think about all your strengths that helped you succeed. I'm glad I had the perseverance to keep trying to make my tower stable. Look at when you fail as an opportunity. When something doesn't go as planned, always ask yourself, what can I do differently next time? Why did that happen? This is a great opportunity to learn a new way to do something. Oh, I need to keep trying. I will figure this out. I hope you had a chance to see some ways to look on the bright side. Remember, optimism takes practice, but ultimately you have the power to choose to have a growth mindset. The end. What a great story. I'm going to put my optimistic sunny glasses back on because that was the whole message of the book, right? Lots of situations can be frustrating or difficult or challenging and you want to remember all of those different ways to just try to look at the bright side, look at it as an opportunity for growing. Well, that was really difficult, but I grew my brain today. Or, you know, I'm going to have to stick with this. This is really hard, but with time, I'm going to figure this out. I'm growing my brain. I'm learning. I'm trying hard. I'm doing the best that I can. And that is really positive thinking because you guys are. You're all working hard, all doing your best, and all of your teachers are really proud of you. This um, message today is really important. If you can try to develop your sunny, optimistic thinking now, like we said at the beginning of um, this video, you're just going to be a really happier person. So, but it, sometimes it takes some time and practice. Sometimes I get down on myself and I look at the glass as half empty or say a put down to myself and I have to stop myself and say, oh no. I bet there's something positive I can say to myself to look at that situation um, in a brighter light. Okay, so your seesaw activity is to share a time when you had to use um, sunny thinking or to be an optimistic thinker. Was there a situation that was kind of hard or tricky and it took you a long time to learn how to do something? What did you say to yourself? How did you um, persevere? Okay, I can't wait to hear from you and thank you for joining me today.